You want to live in London and its environs. You want to chill with the big boys. I eat the wrong kitty kitty, you the wrong kitty kitty. You cannot drink water and drop cup. Hey there, my name is Mide J. M to the high to the D to the E to the J. I film everything lifestyle vlog, travel to location, everything beautiful. If you want to be part of this, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Click the subscribe button and don't forget the notification bell. YouTube will notify you when I post a new video. I see a lot of people say, oh, I want to live in London. You know, I love the London life. I want to move there to London or its environs. When I mean environs, I mean some kilometers just away from London. And you're wondering, what does it entail to live in London? What's the life like? The cost of living? I'll be shedding some light on these questions. Numerous questions running through your mind. You want to know what it is like. You really want to know if it's worth the move or not. And I'll be using myself as the center of discussion. you've never watched any of my youtube videos before you've not met me before you've not met this channel before so you might not know my story i will just let you in briefly i relocated to the uk about four years ago i moved to a southwest part of england and that's where i lived for my for like the first three years of my life in the uk and last year i moved to this part of england which is very very close to london i share the transportation with london i share the amenities i share so many things with london city so last year when i was moving i knew that it was a big move it was an intentional move i moved because of something very important and significant in my life i just knew that it was time to move was i happy about moving at that point i would say not really honestly at first guys i was not ready to move but i knew that i had to at that point in time i was already thinking and reminiscing on the increase in my bills the increase in my cost of living but the reason for moving supersede or superseded um the cost at that point in time so i had to move and it's been one year already honestly there's been so many ups and downs like there are many ups and downs i'll be discussing in this video regarding moving to london and its environs or living here there are so many things involved that you have to live here sometimes to really understand what it entails to live here uh let's talk about the downsides I would like to talk about the downsides first. What I found so challenging, you already know, it's abuse. <laughs> My dear. Okay, let me compare with where I was living before. I'll do a bit of comparison. I was living in Southwest England before now, like I said. So then I was paying £4.95 for a studio flat. And all my bills in particular, electricity, water, gas and everything was an extra £250. So at the end of the month, I was not spending more than £750. Two bedroom flat in this part of England is about £1,450. Now £1,500 actually. Henceforth, it's not £1,500. Uh, there was an increase in cost of living in the UK lately. So my rent right now is £1,500. And my bills every month is about 450 pounds so that's roughly two thousand pounds now so my bills went from 750 to two thousand pounds for accommodation electricity water and council tax so while i was living in the other part of england my council tax was about one because i lived alone then i think my council tax was about 123 pounds or 125 pounds every month but now it's because this is a high cost area this axis is a high cost area london and its environs is high cost area whether you like it or not and that's about um now i my cancer tax about 180 that's a 50 pounds increase my electricity over there of course is cheaper i pay i was paying 120 pounds and even that 120 when i was living they gave me some extra money because they felt that i was paying too much but here every month i pay like 230 pounds 
presently i'm actually using one very notorious electricity provider that i'll be changing very soon because it's a year already and i'm so tired of them it's ridiculous sometimes the bills are crippling they are neck cracking i don't even look forward to paying these bills every month nobody does right but it's so electrifying if they <laughs> he electrifies me just so you know that working in the nhs in this london access and its environs there is something they'll be paying you known as high cost allowance they'll put that ac allowance well it looks like a lot of money but particularly for me sometimes i scrap it because that ac allowance some oftentimes is not even enough to cater for your extra bills at the end of the year when you look back you realize that you're spending more than you are incurring more payments than that allowance that they are giving you that's how i feel about it so you just have to be mentally ready to live in this place my my bills are now they are almost doubled almost not exactly double but they are almost double if you really want to enjoy the basic amenities and basic apartments here in this part of uk london and its environs you must be ready to be financially committed the finances sometimes, when I look at it, I think, is it worth it? Another thing, downside that I find in this part is the hustling and bustling. Let me shed more light on that. Where I was living before, I just walked down to my workplace. I used my leg dispense within seven minutes, ten minutes. If I'm very slow, I'm at work. But here, I have to use the bus. Sometimes, I drive to work. The hustling and bustling is there or like where I was living before, very silent and calm. I'm quite lucky that this part that my accommodation is, is quite suitable. There are no noise. It's quite a very serene environment. The serenity is there. But where I was living before, almost everywhere is serene. It's very quiet. It's good for introverts especially. People that don't like the hustling and bustling life. If you've lived in those parts of England, when you move to London, it's going to be strange. But if you're that person, like an immigrant like myself, if you move from wherever you are outside UK and you live in London, to move back to these countryside areas will be difficult because you would not, you might not really appreciate the serenity. But for people like me who came there first, we tend to appreciate that calm and that very slow-paced life. The life in London and its environs is very fast-paced. There's this swift get-go. You're on the go almost all the time. So that's also one of the downsides about living here. So now let's talk about the good side of it. Guys, number one thing on my list is the food. Where I was living before, I sometimes come to London to get turkey, to get fish, to get some things to prepare my Nigerian meals with because at a point we didn't have enough of those things or we still don't have enough of those things in other countrysides of uk or of england especially if you want to buy you can't see now i just drive 10 15 minutes i walk down there sometimes if i want to do a schedule that over sabi i drive to woolwich woolwich is just 25 minutes drive when i drive down and i get fresh vegetables i get fresh pepper i get fufu i get moin moin i get Things like this, they give me so much joy. So the food in this part is top-notch. A friend of mine came to see me not too long ago. I took her to a Suya spot. If you know Suya Academy in Plumstead in London, it's just by my door here. Guys, when I take you there to eat Suya, ha! Ha! Your life will never remain the same. I saw somebody that went to Nigeria lately and he was like, Oh, yeah, Suya in Nigeria, you want to come? Come to UK, come to this side of UK. I will take you to go and eat confirmed Nigeria standard Suya. The Suya that you will buy, that you will finish in the car before you get home. The Suya that when you cook your noodles with, my dear, you are in cloud nine. <laughs> like the food. Taste this just down there. If you want to eat the original Nigerian meat pie. Nigerian fish pie pop off hot one guys i'm not even capping so that luxury of i can eat whatever i want to eat i love Ghanaian foods i have a woman that supplies me Ghanaian food watch it i eat i eat kenke see anything it's not a problem food is nothing it's just is a oh my god that food Living in London and its environs, when you are coming from Nigeria or whatever, you don't even... Now, I don't even tell people to bring so many things to me before. Unlike when I was living in that southwest part of England, I literally buy Maggi 
seasoning, everything. I tell them to send it from Nigeria or I come to London, buy them and take it back. You know, so it's very stressful. So you have accessibility to most traditional or African foods here in London. That I love. I love the pecs of London, guys. I love the pecs. Apart from the food, let's talk about the, the, the social life. If you are a very social person, London is for you. There are many restaurants. There's nothing like, when I was living back then, a year ago, if I come back from work, I can't just order jollof rice and eat. Like, if I don't cook, I'm not eating African foods. I can only, after work, along that work, I can only order chicken wings, pizza, uh, Chinese. That's how I learned how to eat Chinese a lot because that was the closest thing that sometimes suits my taste board. Unlike here, that you can always order a malang bagri online. You can always order beans and bread. I've ordered a while going. Be <laughs> you know, these are the London packs. Honestly, these are the reasons why I love this place. Or African-oriented restaurants here. You know, where you can always go with friends to have, to have different foods. When I first got here, I used to go out a lot. I'll just say that the social life is amazing if you're that person coming from wherever you are coming from and you really want to you know dive into that social life you don't want to miss out london is for you socially you're going to enjoy it another reason why i love london and its environs the pack of living in london is the multicultural society if you're living here you easily blend with blacks like yourself this is for particularly people who are blacks like me when i first got to england like I could remember the first day I came when COVID was really bad. And after the quarantine, I came out of of uh, the quarantine and there was a school close to my house then. The students were walking on the on the road. There was a Chinese girl. She was staring at me. You know when you've seen you've seen a ghost. She was looking at me like, who is this black girl? Who is this black skinned beauty? <laughs> Because I want to assume that that's what is on her mind. Yeah, because I'm a beauty. I'm a speck. She was staring at me like her eyes were almost gudging out of her, of her skull. Like, because you hardly see blacks over there. You, I tell people at my workplace, you, you know, the black population is very minute. Unlike here, it's very multicultural. There are Asians, there are black people, Africans, there are Jamaicans, there are British people everybody's here if you go to the town center down there you see people speaking your dialect you actually meet your country people if you are a very religious person whatever church you attend you easily get a church here a physical church if you are a muslim you easily get a mosque here even a traditionalist that i really like another thing i really like about london is the transportation it's very uh, effective the bus system unlike where i was living before that you stand at the bus stop when they tell you one o'clock the bus might not come until 1 45 because there are not many people they are very laid back when it comes to transportation links i didn't like that you know you have to drive especially in places like that that's why most london people most london residents don't some of them don't drive they are not interested in even driving because the train system very soon i'll be going out right now and i'll be taking the train and it's sure that it's gonna arrive at when it's gonna arrive that's the train the train links are so significantly amazing i'm going to give it to the to the uk or the british system regarding transportation or like america self uk transportation system especially for london is amazing as far as we have the low or the downside of living in london we also have the london packs honestly like the, the the night life if you want to enjoy that night like most people that live in other parts of england they come to london for their social life yes and that's a period <laughs> london is beautiful london and its environs is amazing i've seen many people leave london to other parts of england because of the bills i don't blame them honestly and when i see people who say that they would rather remain here i don't also blame them to crown this video up i would just like to say that some people say things like oh if you live in london you're not you're not gonna save much and if you live outside london then maybe you will save a lot i beg to differ and that's in the sense that in living in the uk number one you have to know saving is very hard 
you have to be highly intentional not only very intentional you have to be highly intentional it's a jungle out there the moment you save it's raining for rainy days it's raining the next day it's ridiculous and when you live in london you know that you don't have much to save you squeeze that one inside your bum bum you squeeze it inside your body like this i'm not releasing funds no money but you that live outside london you are saving 1k i'm saving 500 my bills are more than yours but you if you are not careful family will beg friends will plead before you know it you are still spending you spend that extra 500 you have on top of your savings and we will be back to both saving 500 so it's an individual thing what if i told you that i'm saving more <laughs> personally living in london than where i was before i would say it's the grace of god i don't know what's happening but that's what it is so don't have that at the back of your mind i believe you you're not gonna save who said so if you put your mind to it do an extra also you know since you know that oh, london is this london is that except if you don't have a significant reason to live here i tell people if there is no reason if you don't really feel the pecs of living in london then you maybe you shouldn't move to somewhere else with these few points of mine i hope you've been able to decide if it's worth living in london or not there is no two way about it. In this video, I'm not about to tell you move to London compost really to benefit you. What works for A might not work for B. Don't let people get into your head. In UK, I know you want to ask people, why is this place? How is that? It's good to ask for advice here and there. But sometimes you have to sit down and know what works for you. You might actually come to London and boom, that might be the start of your, of your financial breakthrough. So don't look at other people. Learn from them. Learn from their mistakes. Oh, what could I do better? Your destiny are not tied together, my dear. Why are you doing that to yourself? Come to the end of this video. I hope you find it very helpful. And then if you have any questions, just leave in the comment section. Okay? I remain your girl. Hem to the I to the D to the E to the J. I want you to do something for me. Please kindly subscribe to my channel. Click that subscribe button. And don't forget the notification bell by the side of your screen. So YouTube will duly notify you when I post a new video. If you want to see more of my videos, you need to subscribe. Thank you for watching. I love you so much. I'll see you in my next one. Until then, peace and light always. Bye, guys. <laughs>